Fight fans all over the world, it's Daddy P with Slap Happy Gorilla. What? Erickson Lubin makes a big statement against Luis Arias. Lesson. After more than a year laid off, after a hard-fought fight with Sebastian Fondor, Erickson Lubin is back and makes a statement against Luis Arias, who has never been stopped before. He stopped him in the fifth round of their fight. And when, at, when questioned by Jim Gray, uh, some people say that, hey, it was a little controversial stoppage. He was questioned by Jim Gray. Hey, man, he say, man, look, I felt I was landing my shots well, landing my jab well. Hey, so the young man made a statement, man. Uh, I don't know what's next for the young man, Erickson Lubin, as the landscape at 154 is already set. To the tune of Jamel Charlo. Um, they supposed to be, he's supposed to be defending this title against the WBO next in line, which is Tim Zhu. And, um, you know, after that fight, who knows what happens? Jamel Charlo could move up. You never know. Um, it's a fight at 160 right now on that same card. You know, this was on the undercard of the uh, Carlos Adamas Julian William fight. So, you know, that's a 160 fight. And, um, you know, that landscape there is is wide open, really. So you never know what happened with Jamel Charlo. So I guess we have to see with Tim Zhu. So I don't know what's next for the, the Orlando native, Erickson Lubin. But it was a big statement for the young man. Hey, look, kudos to him, man. I'm, good. I'm glad to see him back and doing his thing making a big statement. Like I say, the loss, look, I mean, the stoppage was a little controversial, but hey, he say, man, if they would have let me keep going, I, finna, I was ready to stop him anyway. So that's what it is. This is Daddy P with Slap Pappy Gorilla. Go ahead and slap that like button. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time it go down. This is Daddy P. We still watching this fight on Showtime.